We don't know what kind of influence Jennifer was under, whether good or bad. We don't know what we would have done if we were her and subject to the same pressures of the entertainment industry. Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill and on this channel we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. I also talk about the products that celebrities use so that you can get them for yourself. If that sounds good to you, then make sure to subscribe. This video is about the beautiful and talented Jennifer Lawrence, who has lately been looking completely different, or at least somewhat different than what we're used to. Now, I had a ton of requests for Jennifer in the comment section of my Aza Gonzalez video, which I just released. I'll link it after this video. I could not believe the amount of requests I got for Jennifer. So I looked her up thinking, wow, has something really changed? She must look incredibly different. When I saw those 2023 photos, I totally understood why everyone was asking for an analysis on her. Now, Jennifer is the type of celebrity who you kind of would peg for natural probably because she's been in the spotlight for so long since she was a young teen. But I had been watching Jennifer for years and I had pegged some of the procedures that she had done, but never have I seen Jennifer look like she's had so many procedures. So I really can't wait to do this analysis. Skincare and the health of your skin is so important to maintain in your late 20s and beyond. And that brings me to today's sponsor, AG1. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports the health of your whole body. Aging happens to all of us, but you can reduce the signs of outward aging by making sure you get all of your essential vitamins and nutrients that your body and your skin, which is the largest organ of our body, needs. And you guys, I know firsthand that good nutrition along with water intake really helps your skin keep that glowiness and supple look to it. Now there's been a lot of talk about greens powders not being needed in a healthy diet, but AG1 is so much more than just another greens powder. It has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. I personally drink AG1 because I don't have the time to prepare and shop for all of the vitamins and nutrients that are in AG1. I like to make sure that my diet has no gaps in it by getting my daily nutritional needs met with AG1. It's super easy to drink and it just takes a few minutes to prepare. You just take your favorite shaker bottle, scoop out some AG1, add water, shake it up, and drink. The taste is good. It tastes like citrus and matcha flavor. AG1 also supports gut health, which is so important to your body, but especially your mind. There's a major mind-body connection with gut health, and the prebiotics and probiotics and plant-based enzymes in AG1 help to give your digestion more regularity and enhance overall gut health. AG1 is giving my community a free one-year supply of their AG vitamin D3, as well as five travel packs of AG1. Make sure to go to my link in the description box below or go to drinkag1.com slash Lori Hill. Make sure to use my link because it helps my channel so much. Thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about Jennifer's possible plastic and cosmetic procedures. Remember, this is my opinion only, and it's not fact. Never use my videos to shame or exposed celebrities. Jennifer Lawrence was born on August 15, 1990 in Indian Hills, Kentucky to her father, Gary, a construction company owner, and her mother, Karen, a summer camp manager. Jennifer has two older brothers, Ben and Blaine. She is an incredibly talented actress and her films have grossed over $6 billion worldwide and was the world's highest paid actress in 2015 and 2016. Jennifer was scouted for acting at the young age of 14 during a family vacation in New York City when she was reportedly spotted on the street by a talent scout. After her first cold reading, the agent said that hers was the best they had heard from someone so young. Afterwards, 
Jennifer was signed with CESD Talent Agency. She then dropped out of school at 14 without getting her GED or diploma. And Jennifer describes herself as being self-taught and said her acting career was her priority. Now Jennifer began her actual acting career with small roles in television shows like Monk and Medium. But her first regular series role was on the Bill Ingvall show, and her film debut was in 2008. And it was around that same year where I see her plastic surgery may have started as well. Now Jennifer's breakthrough role was in an independent drama called Winter's Bone. Since then, her film roles have come fast and easy for her, from roles like a superhero in X-Men First Class, Katniss Everdeen in Hunger Games, and Silver Linings Playbook. More recently, Jennifer was in a film called Mother, which was a psychological horror film. The rehearsing for this movie was so intense that Jennifer hyperventilated one day and dislocated a rib. She was also in the very popular independent movie, Don't Look Up. This year, she's in a new movie called No Hard Feelings, in which Jennifer answers a Craigslist ad placed by parents to sleep with their 19-year-old son. Let's talk about Jennifer's natural beauty traits. I love Jennifer's large and long hooded eyes. I think it's so beautiful and unusual to have eyes like those. Her gorgeous thick hair and her beautiful smile. The first change I see is to Jennifer's nose. Take a look at this 2008 photo. Now this is Jennifer's natural nose, which goes really well with the rest of her facial features. We see a rounded tip with a straight bridge. Now in the after photo, her tip is more defined and is now smaller than the bridge of her nose. I also see that her alars have been reduced, which is an alar base reduction. Sometime between 2010 and 2011, Jennifer really starts looking different. And this is when I believe Jennifer got a pivotal surgery. This is the big surgery that took her from girl next door to a sex symbol. Jennifer got a mid facelift with cheek implants. Now a mid facelift brings all of that soft facial flesh that Jennifer had up and towards her eyes which is why you see that her eye hollows have been filled in. Sometimes the brows can look lower after a mid facelift, but they're not actually lower, they've just been straightened out. The big tell here is the narrowing of Jennifer's eyes, which is a side effect of a cheek lift or a mid facelift. You'll notice that the eyes on someone who's had a mid facelift will stay narrow, whether they have a straight face or smiling. I also see the possibility of jaw implants. In the before photo, we see a prominent jaw, but one that is more narrow. In the after photo, we see more prominent gonial angles that are also wider. Now, both the cheeks and the jaw implants may have been done in order to make Jennifer's face look less long and more wide and full. Now, many people speculated that all of this facial fullness that Jennifer had was filler or even fat transfers, but what you are actually seeing is the natural facial fat that Jennifer already had on top of facial implants. Now, it's relatively common to get some filler or fat transfers after facial implants as aging and dieting and the subsequent facial fat loss will often reveal the edges of the facial implant if filler or fat aren't done routinely or when needed. I do think Jennifer has had some subtle fat transfers and or filler placed to her face over the years Now I also see that Jennifer's nose, which had previously had a rhinoplasty, now looks larger in 2011. This is likely the result of a rhinoplasty revision in which cartilage grafts were added to give the nose more support. The grafts may have been added to the tip and the bridge. Jennifer's lips look larger, in particular her top lip. It looks like there may have been some filler added to make the upper lip just as big as the lower lip. In 2012, we see that the under eyes have been potentially filled in and the transition between Jennifer's under eyes and her cheeks is very full. 
Now in 2013, I believe that under eye has been overfilled. There's no longer a natural transition from her under eye to her cheeks. And her under eyes are now the same level as her cheeks. Now, by the way, I don't know what this scar on Jennifer's eye is. This is not typical of a blepharoplasty scar. Now it's around 2017 through 2018 where I noticed the lower cheek area, the buckle area in particular, looks less full. I believe Jennifer may have had a buckle fat removal to accentuate the curve of her cheekbone and the cheek implant that was placed. Let's talk about Jennifer's teeth. Jennifer has had cosmetic dentistry. Upon losing one of her veneers during a movie, she revealed that she has veneers. Now to my eye, it looks like she's had 10 veneers. Now between 2019 till 2022, there's not much new plastic surgery work. Jennifer has life events that are taking precedence over any type of cosmetic work. And she also had a child in 2022. But now we get to 2023 and wow, I was just in shock. I think my mouth dropped open when I saw Jennifer's 2023 photos. There was no doubt, at least in my mind and in my opinion, that Jennifer has had some significant plastic surgery work done. So let's talk about it. All 2022 photos are at least five months after Jennifer gave birth and no photos were used from when she was pregnant. Let's take a look at a side-by-side -side of Jennifer. In the 2023 photo, I see that her eyebrows are higher on her face than they used to be. Now, I don't think it's Botox as this is a big change. So I think this was an upper facelift that raised the brows up. An upper facelift targets the whole upper face area, everything from the forehead to the eye corners. It can raise the whole forehead along with the eyebrows. You often see the brows raised medially. With Jennifer, I see that her whole forehead was moved up along with her brows. I also see her eye corners were raised to look more cat-like. Take a look at Jennifer's nose. The tip is now longer and definitely more projected, especially from the side. I believe that there may have been a tip graft placed to Jennifer's nose. It looks drop dead perfect from profile now. Speaking of her profile, I see that the slight hump she had to her nose is now gone. There may have been some filler added there. Taking a look at Jennifer's lips, I noticed that the distance between her nose base and lower lip has become much smaller. I also noticed that Jennifer's upper lip shows more wet space. I think Jennifer has had some kind of a lip lift along with filler. Now, another less likely possibility is a V to the Y plasty to produce more lip volume. If you look at Jennifer's upper lip, the medial portion of it is now higher as well. And this is generally indicative of a lip lift. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, where's the scar? Many surgeons will do a lip lift that's customized to the patient's needs. Jennifer likely used a surgeon who was able to do a variation of an upper lip lift that didn't involve as much of the muscle so as not to restrict movement, as well as not leaving an obvious scar. Jennifer does have a hint of a scar there, but it's hard to make out. Celebrities often utilize lasers to help during the recovery process. Taking a closer look at Jennifer's cheeks, I notice a lot of the puffy and full look of her previous cheeks is gone. Her cheek area is now much flatter, though not flat. I think she may have had her cheek implants removed. Because of the cheek implant removal, Jennifer's face is more narrow and longer, with the width removed from her cheeks. Jennifer also likely had another cheek lift or mid facelift to completely restore the cheek envelope. Another option besides a cheek lift is an extended facelift where the surgeon extends the facelift higher to also restore the cheeks. Let's talk about Jennifer's lower face. In the before photo, we see a great jawline that is soft with some pronouncement of the marionette lines as well as a bit of bunching on expression. In the after, we see a very sharp jawline with no bunching or puckering to the flesh. The soft tissue is flat and uniform. This is likely a lower facelift. 
Now let's take a look at Jennifer's chin, which was always slightly recessed. And now her chin is more prominent and completely in line with her nose. If you take a look at her profile, there's been a change. I believe that Jennifer had a chin implant placed as well. Now let's look at Jennifer's neck, which in the before photo was soft and fleshy, and in the after photo is now tight and youthful. The submental curve of her neck is now impeccable. And this little skin divot right here is very familiar to the rest of us who have had good neck lifts. In fact, it reminds me very much of my own neck. I believe Jennifer may have had a neck lift along with her lower facelift. Now your mind is probably blown because Jennifer is only 32 years old. How could it be that somebody so young may have had a facelift already? This surprised me very much as well, but if you take a look at Jennifer's past plastic surgery and cosmetic work, a lot of it may have led her to this point. Some people's faces, when overloaded with filler from year to year to year, their skin never rebounds back. And I think this is what happened with Jennifer. She's been getting filler for the last few years, and this could have caused a drooping to her skin envelope because as an actress, her face is giant on the screen. So any small, subtle drooping and jowling is a big deal for an actress or an actor. But upon getting a facelift, a surgeon will dissolve all remaining filler that you have left. And this is what I think Jennifer did. So this is the reason why I think she may have opted to get a facelift and opted to get such extreme work for somebody her age. With Jennifer getting so much work so young though, I thought it was really important to make this video I felt like people really needed to know that this may not be natural and to not feel bad about your natural face. Now, I don't think that Jennifer has had any body plastic surgery work done. Let's add up Jennifer's possible plastic and cosmetic procedures, and I'll tell you how much it costs to look like Jennifer Lawrence. All prices are based at the high end of the price range, and please keep in mind that oftentimes my said prices are actually lower than what they're charging right now. Rhinoplasty, 20,000. Mid face lift with custom cheek implants, 30,000. Custom jaw implants, 15,000. Fat and or filler to the cheeks, temples, and other areas, 30,000. First rhinoplasty revision, 30,000. Lip filler off and on since 2011, 15,000. Under eye filler for multiple years, 10,000. Buckle fat removal, 5,000. 10 veneers at 4,000 a tooth, 40,000. Upper facelift, 30,000. Second rhinoplasty revision, 30,000. Upper lip lift, 30,000. Cheek implant removal, 2,500. Lower facelift, neck lift, and cheek lift, 250,000. Chin implant, 10,000. Total cost, $547,500. One additional note about the price of a facelift. Now I know a lot of you are freaking out about the 250 k for a facelift, but I have substantiated that price. I was in Beverly Hills last week and spoke with a plastic surgeon that is in the know about how much the top facelift surgeons are charging. And the 250 k is standard at this point for celebrities and very wealthy people. What do you guys think of Jennifer Lawrence's work? Please be nice or neutral in the comments. Please remember she's a person with a career and a family to support. Just keep in mind that we don't know what kind of influence Jennifer was under, whether good or bad. We don't know what we would have done if we were her and subject to the same pressures of the entertainment industry. And I recently released my Aza Gonzalez video, which is linked after this video. Please go and watch it. I had some technical difficulties with YouTube and the video got a lot less exposure than what I was hoping for. So it would really help me out if you go and watch it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>